Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on database application using MS Access. Today, I am covering chapter 5, data pages and protection. I am Alok Gupta, mentoring the session. Learning objectives. First, setting password. Second, implementing security and encryption in database. Third, converting an access database to an ACC D file. Fourth, is splitting a database. And last one is the packaging a database with a digital signature. Introduction. There are various protection mechanisms provided by Access 2010 to make it secure and enhance its functionality. To make the data more secure, Access database can protect with utility password, encrypt database, and make ACC DE file. First, setting password. Setting password or encryption in a database. Encrypting a database does not restrict access to database object, but to open the database, that user must first enter a password. Let us understand the topic with the help of the case study. It's a setting up password. Here, problem. The database administrator wishes to secure the database in such a manner so that only the authorized user is able to access the database. Now open the Microsoft Access. This first screen is appear like that. Now select the database you want to open if already created. Here is a database created. It's a ICI training one. Click on this database. We'll open the database. If you want to set a password, then come to a file menu is a option it's a information and in information there's a subsection is a encryption with password as you click on this option this will show a message you must have database open for exclusive use to set or remove the database password so first open a database with exclusive use so click on ok button close this database close this database and then again come to open option Click on open button, open a database, select a path, where database resides, so G, advanced identity course, Alokutta, and then ICA training, then ICA training 1.accd. Again, open this training and select option from here. It's a open exclusive. Click on open exclusive and then Come to file menu, info, and click on a encryption with password. As you click on a encryption with password, a window appear here. It's a set database password. I'm putting here password is A. Then verify the password. It's A. Then click on OK button. Now a dialog box appear. It's a encryption with a block cipher is incompatible with row level locking. Row level locking will be ignored. Click on OK. Now, again, test this database is protected or not, then close the database and then again open a database. You click on this, it will ask the password to show that password is active. Then your password is A and click on an OK button, database is open here. So, this is the security feature is available here. As you put the password here, the database is encrypted. If you want to remove the date password, then again in a file menu is option info and the encrypted option converted to a decrypt database. Click a decrypt database. If you want, you must have a database open for exclusive use to set or remove the database password. Click on OK button and you want to remove the password, then remove the password. So this is the decrypt the database. If you want to remove the password, then open the database using an exclusive mode and then come to again same menu file info and click on a decrypt database. It will ask the password, unset the database password. Now the password is A, click on OK button and then save the database and close the database. Now again open the database, it will open without asking a password. So this is the feature by which we are using uh, adding a password and removing a password. Next security feature in access to create a ACC DB file. 
converting an access database to an ACC DE file. ACC DE stand for execute only file. ACC DE file is a lockdown version of the original. ACC DB file, ACC DE file cannot make design changes to form or report. Means if you are creating a database, after creating a form and report, you are created a ACC DE file, then you cannot change in a form as well as in a report, but you can change in a database file. For creating an ACC DE file, first come to a file menu in access. Here is an option. It's a save and publish. Click on this save and publish option. There is the dialog box. There is an option advanced. In an advanced group, there is an option make ACC DE file. Click on this make ACC DE file. It's an executable only file. Click on a save as button. As you click on a save as button, it will automatically given the same name of a database. It's a ICI training one and ext extension is changed. It's a ACC DE. Now save the file and change the name ICI training ACC DE and save this file. Now close the database and again come to the same location. Click on open option there's a op, uh, there is a section there is a space where is a file is created it's a ICA training ACC DE file here is an icon in which a lock is appear is showing it's creating a ACC DE file is an executable file select this file and click on open button now this message appear click on the open option now this open the database now in this database come to a uh, form tab and in a form tab select any form and right click on a form there is an option open is activated but design views are disabled means we cannot change or edit any the created form similarly as you right click on it any of the report it cannot be open in a design mode you can view the report you can run the report but you cannot edit the forms and report in this section uh, in SCD file here through SCD file you can modify the or change in a database file right click on here is a database database you can modify according to your requirement so this is the feature of the acc d file we cannot modify the form and report next security feature in access is implementing security security is one of the major concern of the database developer one of the basic security feature in Access 2010 is trust enable the disabled content in the database. This is the trust center setting. Trust center setting. Now case study we can understand with the help of the case study. Problem. Regional had found that the user of Apex inventory shipment database were not able to intercept the security warning for the trust center properly and could not decide if the content should be enabled. For trust center setting, first come to a file menu. There is a option at the bottom is a options. Select the options. Here is the dialog box. Access option appear. Then select the option. It's a trust center. Then click the option. It's a trust center setting. Click on this button. Now there is a options trusted location. Click on a trusted location and add the location. You want this is a predefined location. If any predefined location you don't want in a trusted location, then remove from here. If you want to add, then click add new location. Now click on a browse button and select where the database is reside. It's a complete path. It's a D advanced IDT course. Alok Gupta this is the path. Select this option. There's a number of subfolder is existed here. If you want all these cover in a trusted center, then Activate this button. It's a subfolder of this location are also trusted. Click on OK button. Now click on OK button. So this is the trusted location and then click on OK button. All the database are reside in a trusted location and this trusted location enable through a, this setting. Next feature is the splitting a database. When we split access database, it creates two files, a backend database and a frontend database. 
Backend database hold all the tables. Front end database hold all the forms, query, reports, macro, and modules. Splitting database feature split the database in two parts. As explained above, is a backend part and front end part. So that the backend is in a secure location and via link you can access the database. But you cannot modify if permission is not granted through the database administrator. For splitting a database, first come to access. There is a predefined database is open here and select the uh, select the option. It's a database tool tab. Now in a database tool tab, there is a tab. It's a move data. In a move data, there is an option access database. Click on this option. A database splitter dialog box appear here. Now click on this split database button. As you click on this split database button, it create a backup file where you want to create a backup. There is a dialog box create a back end database where you want to save the back end database. I am saving the back end database in same location. Now, it's ICA training. By default, there is a uh, term added. It's a B that show that it's a backup file. I C A I training underscore B A C C D B. It's a backup file is created here. Click on a split option. As you click on a split option, the masses appear here. It's a database successfully split. Click on OK button. Now you see uh, see the changes here. Here is the arrow appear on it in front of a table. This show it's a data come from another look another location and where it come from. It's a G drive. Advanced ITT course, Alok Gupta, and then ICA training underscore B. It's a backup file, ACC DB. Now the database actually reside on this location. Now check it out. But we can open database directly from here. We can modify, we can update if the permission is granted through the developer or the database administrator. Let's check out database. So close the database, then select the open database. Up to the same location. Here is a file is created. It's a ICA training underscore B E A C C D B. It's a backup file created here. If you want to open from here and open it. So this is the only the database is here. There's a no form, no report, no macro is here, only database is reside here. Close from here database and then open again the database from the ICA training and then ICA training close we have created a database for another file it's a ACC DE file now here is the show it's come from the another location so this is the splitting up database option Next feature in a database is a packaging a database with a digital signature. Packaging create an access development file, ACC DC file, whose origin and integrity is certified by the digital signature. The package and sign feature place the database in an access deployment, ACC DC file, sign the package and then place the code sign package at a location. If you want to create a package using a digital signature, then come to a file menu. Next, the option select, it's a save and publish. In an advanced section, there's an option, it's a package and sign. Packaging the database and apply a digital signature. Select this option and click on a save as button. As you click, there's a window appear. If you do not have any certification, then it will not create a package and other application. If you have a certification that it will create a package. Now, we don't have a certificate in this machine, so it will not creating a package. If you have a certificate, that's, then click on it. As you click on it, it will create a compressed file. And whenever you want to give up this file, particular branch or particular person, give this file, it will install over there and will automatically file are expanded. So here is a, I'm clicking on a OK button. So it will, if it is a pack, uh, certificate is available, then it will create a package. Now is the end of the chapter number five. Thank you.